Well, hello there, everyone. It's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. You're looking good today. And uh, yes, today we are testing a gadget that I am extremely excited about. I'm actually praying that it works. It kind of links to a video I did recently, which you guys are absolutely going mental about, the two ingredient pizza dough. Loads of you are sort of like trying it and sending me pictures and stuff. It really is like genuinely awesome, right? And in fact, in the background there, you can see two bowls of uh, standard pizza dough proving that I made uh, earlier. Uh, and right here is some Greek yogurt and self-raising flour, the two ingredients needed. We're gonna actually make that because today's gadget uh, is this thing. See that? It's a bit shiny with the packaging still on, but it's an Italian pizza maker. I think it's electronic. I think it's gonna be good. I have high hopes for it. Now, the reason that I'm kind of begging and praying, please work, uh, that this does indeed work, uh, I did uh, another gadget quite similar to this before, and I found it pants, to be honest. It was rubbish. It was very expensive. Uh, it was one where it sat on the gas hob. Hopefully some of you guys remember that. There was like a gas flame underneath it. Uh, and I found that it was not keeping the heat in, and also it didn't sort of like circulate it well enough, and it was kind of pants. I think I managed to get some dough balls out of it, but that was about it. As I say, these are my backup pizza doughs uh, that are just doubling in size, so I might not need them, but I want to try and like compare them. We'll do our two ingredient dough in just a minute with the self raising flour and the Greek yogurt. Let's look at this thing. Everyone creates their own perfect pizza. It's a bit of a random tagline to put on there, but I guess you do. If you don't, you'd be disappointed. Stone oven for perfect crisp pizza, so it's got a stone base. Uh, complete with serving spatulas. Nice. Uh, recipe ideas included. Okay, cool. Hey, look, there's your spatula. It's not the biggest spatula, is it? So I wonder, I hope these pizzas are gonna be big. Got like four actual spatulas here. Ah, <laughs> oh, I think it's just tiny so you, everyone can make like a party pizza. Ooh. Okay. Just as a side note, I'm getting loads of requests to make a giant chocolate button and I was gonna ask you guys what would make a good mold for that, uh, but look. I could literally just pour chocolate in that thing. It needs to be bigger, but... <laughs> look at that! I'm going to wash this, but before I do, it looks a bit like a bike helmet. <laughs> look, I'm in Tron! <laughs> just a plastic bangle. Yeah. It's got a UK socket on it. Sometimes when I've ordered things in the past, they've had a one that I've had to convert, but we're all good. And for those of you that are wondering what a UK socket is, basically we put them in our walls and apply the tongue like so. No, don't do that. There's so much packaging. That's not the stone base, is it? It's tin. Do you know what? I think it is, you know. So you've got like a heating element here, so underneath it. That sits in it, so it's getting hot underneath and hot on the top. Yes. I don't know where that goes. But I assume this Tron helmet... <laughs> All of a sudden I've got my own brick oven. I'm doing a video on how to make your own homemade brick oven uh, wood-fired thing in the, in the garden very soon, by the way. Watch out for that. It's gonna take me like three or four days to do it, so if you can get over two views, that'd be amazing. Gotta say though, guys, um, I think this could be an actual thing for your dough to cut it, to get it to fit in that size. It's a very small gap, so we're gonna be making tiny pizzas. That said, it's kind of like going to be a cool party thing, isn't it? You could be like Hungry Hippos, but with pizza, where there's four of you in each of these little stations just digging out your little pizzas. Okay, so I've just given it all a little clean and a wash and a read through the instructions. Pizza's a little bit notorious in that, you know, when you make the dough and you try and slide it off your spatula or whatever, it doesn't. Sometimes people use cornmeal to help with that, but it does say you can actually cook it on your spatula because that base of that is kind of like one of those ones you get in the oven, like those pizza trays, right? So other than the spatulas, this is your dedicated pizza cutter. So it's perfect. I do like that. That's a very cool idea. And then this plate and that just joins on to the lid. So we'll do that now. There you go. I think we're just about ready with this. Um, my other dough is ready, but let's just quickly make that two ingredient stuff again. So in this bowl is 225 grams of low fat Greek yogurt, 225 grams of self raisin flour. I did just tell you all of this, but I forgot to press record on the camera. All right, little mix like that. So it comes together like big old lump. Flour that down, push it all out. And then we just knead it with uh, more self raisin flour as needed because it's very wet at first until you've got a nice smooth dough ball. Don't even need to prove this one. The only slightly disappointing thing for me right now is the, the pizza maker, these openings right here. I thought it was just going to be like two. I didn't really properly look at it before I ordered it. Maybe for a pizza party or something like that as a centerpiece, it might be pretty cool. But if this works, which I say I'm really hoping it does, the manufacturer should totally make a bigger one. 
That's it ready. I'm not sure if it's going to work this oven, but I'm excited though. Dough. Probably going to need about a quarter of this at the most. Because these spatulas are tiny and you want it really thin, so probably about eighths actually. Got a little bit of olive oil there, um, and what we're doing, apparently the first time you use it, just a little bit on the bottom of the spatula, because then you can actually build it on that. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay, so that's one. Look at that. <laughs> well, I can go for a walk with it. Come on, walkies. This is some dough that I've made. You can see it's sort of doubled in size where it's been proving whilst we've been doing the video. Just knock that air out of it. <laughs> so again with this, not gonna need too much. This feels like more like a, a game than actually cooking. I, I can't explain it. So that's my proved dough and that's the Greek two ingredient dough, all right? Now obviously the other way of doing it is getting the pizza cutter thing because that's actually a teeny bit bigger than the spatula ones. Hey, this is cool. Sitting that straight on our spatula like that. There we go. <laughs> Just a little bit of passata. I'm gonna leave a teeny border. Some pieces of mozzarella. All about portion control, right? Let's put some pepperoni on this one. And this is how small they are. Look, that is one basil leaf. I think we're ready to go. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> that's not the on switch. Where's the on switch? Oh, it just turns on at the wall, that's it. Ooh. Ooh, that is getting hot. The appliance may emit a slight smoke and a characteristic smell when heating for the first time. This is simply manufacturing dust being burnt off. This is normal and will disappear following first use. So I get to have that authentic smell, characteristic as they put it. But for reference, it says one of these pizzas, bear in mind how small they are, will cook in seven to 10 minutes. Uh, now, when I hopefully, fingers crossed, I can, uh, I'm gonna go on this artisan wood pizza course and then what I learned from it and then also when I show you how to make your own oven, you'll be able to make a pizza in 90 seconds and it will be insane, I promise you. But we'll, we'll keep on with this for right now. I mean, that is if some of you do have a garden. So if you guys still live at home, any of you, then um, don't do it in your, in your room without permission from your parents, all right? It takes 15 minutes to heat up. I'm gonna get some more dough. We'll just make some little pizza dough balls. Just a teeny drop of sauce in there. Bit of mozzarella, bit of basil. There we go. I'll probably make two, two or three more of those. So I've just finished making those dough balls, but every now and then there's this like bang noise. Um, I don't know if you've ever put a baking tray in the oven and it's kind of warped. That is the sound that's coming from there. Like every couple of minutes or so, I'm like, okay. Oh, I just did it again. I missed it off camera then, but I've just cut up some uh, dough with the ring again. Put Nutella in this one. Oh, it's definitely getting hotter in the kitchen. I feel like I'm getting a suntan. Some pieces of banana, a sprinkle of chopped hazelnuts. Oh, naughty. Seal it in. Oh, naughty thing. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? <gasps> look, look how hot they are. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think that's ready. <laughs> it's making those noises fairly regularly now. But we're gonna go for it, all right? Put in one, oh, does it fit? Oh. Pepperoni one, this is my two ingredient one. Stick it in the side. We are cooking, internet. Look at this. I've just realized you can't cook four at a time because one of the openings has got the blooming thing in front of it. Oh no, that'll be user error, won't it? That's better. Let's just stick a dough ball in it. Whoops. Go on, son. Hey, this is great. Do we go for the fourth one though? Do we stick the Nutella thing on? Yes, we do. But with the Nutella one, I don't want to put any oil on it or on the spatula. I'm going to chuck it in just like the dough balls and try and stone bake it on a thing that isn't stone. This is four dimensional cooking. Pizza, pizza, dough balls. Oh my gosh, look at the size of those. Uh, and our Nutella calzone thing. In case you can't tell Boston and Amy, I'm excited right now. Still really smells like a factory in here, but we'll go with it. Yeah, baby. Looks like a NAF nightclub, doesn't it, with that thing? Like a red halo. All right, something is burning. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that pizza. Wow. A little bit of Nutella trying to spill out. Ugh. 
Oh my gosh, like that dough ball is actually touching the heating element. Oh my gosh, look, it's burnt here. You okay, buddy? Uh, yeah, that's exploding. But it still tastes good. Alrighty, that has been 10 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna get them all out. <laughs> I wonder who's gonna fit through the gap. Oh. Uh, the Nutella thing's getting a bit... Yeah. Oh, you beautiful thing. Yes, go away. That's fantastic. You need my tongs for the dough balls. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the one that touched the heating element. <laughs> oh, gosh. This thing's lethal. There you go. Uh, so for the Nutella thing. <sighs> ah, ow. That was hot. Oh. All right, some might call that burnt in it places, but I call it charred. Like a pirate. Arrgh. Oh, do you know what? While I do eat them, I've just made one of the quick base with oil on it. I'm just gonna, just see if it does that authentic stone baked thing. And we've got it on the dough balls, but, oh, they're so good. Oh, look at that one. Mmm. That is the difference. My limited Star Wars knowledge tells me I'm making little Millennium Falcons here. Uh, the yeasty one is a lot crisper base. As we know, this one, the two ingredient one, is a quick fix, it's chewy, it's good, but that's just a teeny bit more authentic. Oh, that is good. Mmm. Oh, the Nutella pizza, straight down the middle. Ah. Yeah, to be fair, it's still got some banana and Nutella in it. Oh, mmm. There are some people out there that don't like Nutella. I don't think it could ever be wrong. That was good. Oh. I just got a bit excited and thought I'll chuck another one on. Nothing on it. It's on the base. We'll jump to how those turn out. All right, so that one's nearly done, but um, I've just taken the, that bit I chucked in a minute ago. Uh, the base got kind of burnt, which is a shame. Uh, it's cooked through though. It's just the, the base is really hot. See how this one goes. So I can smell something burning. That's my only fear. Oh, ah, whoops. Ah, okay. So the top, slightly browned. Ah, the, ma the, ah, da, da. the base is, ow. The base is pretty burnt, but that's good. You want that charred effect. So it cooks the bottom quicker than the top, but yeah. Oh, that is good. That really does work. I think that's enough fun with the uh, angry pizza maker right now. I'm gonna let it cool down and just relax a little bit. But in my opinion, it generally does actually work way better than the other one. It's just a shame they're so small pizzas. So for a party, a little bit of fun, something like that, maybe get hold of one of these if you fancy it. But as I say, I will be showing you how to make one from scratch or just do the grill frying pan method. It's amazing. So don't forget to have a barathon now and check out the rest of the kitchen gadget playlists. Uh, let me know down below any cool gadgets you've seen or any recipes you want to see next. And follow me on social media at My Virgin Kitchen for loads of behind the scenes bits and bobs. Goodbye. Look, it's you. Bye. <laughs>